for joining us for more on the strategies to flattening the curve and the rising figures is Dr. Adewale Agusu, a public health physician. We'd like to welcome you to the program. Thank you for having me. Seeing that report and, you know, some of the fears of those people in the estate, it also draws um, perhaps more importance to surveillance and the importance of contact tracing and, you know, some of the NCDC guidelines which uh, people need to listen to and adhere to. Yes, um, um, like, you, like you said, um, contact tracing is very important. When you isolate, now you're isolating to reduce spread. Now, um, after isolating uh, this person or this index case, like she, she said, you have to contact, you have to trace everybody that he or she has had contact with. So, so in this case, would that be a, a laxity with the um, officials in Bayelsa? Well... I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't, there, there could be some, some um, apart from logistics uh, uh, short, shortfalls and, um, but the, like she said, the index person was gallivanting, let me use that word, up and down and um, the, 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 the NCDC ought to immediately, you line list the people from where, from, for which he has had uh, con contact with. with then you, started, you start to um, monitor their vital signs, their temperature, to see how they are faring. We, we, we have officers called the disease surveillance uh, notification officers who are the DSNOs. They will give them thermometers to uh, monitor their daily temperatures and ask them questions every day. You monitor them. So this is all, you know, the personal responsibility people need to, to take in, yes. in this regards. Tell us about Oshudi Solo uh, area, the local government area where you work. Okay, yes. Uh, my, um, I work in Ijibu LCDA, Zonda Oshudi Solo. Um, initially, when we, uh, we started, uh, started going around, we, uh, we, 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 had, um, we, we were doing active case Search. Search, yes. Well, we, we had to go into the community um, and uh, private facilities, both private and public facilities. Uh, uh, when we went to the community, we, we met with resistance, some, some resistance, uh, because people were clamoring for stimulus package. Some even told us, if you, if you have not come to give us stimulus package, just, just leave. We don't want to see you in our community. However, some of them are, uh, were cooperative. And in the, um, in the private facilities, uh, we go there, we ask questions on the symptoms, symptoms of cough, uh, flu, uh, sore throats in the past one month, just to, um, to identify cases that might, be, might have been overlooked. So when we get there, then we now uh, upscale it to the NCDC. If we get in positive when they come, they peak, they isolate. Finally, do you think there have been any misconceptions as to um, what COVID-19 is in the area? Yes. Um, some, people, well, some people were thinking, were saying that it's a form of um, it's a fallacy. The government is trying to siphon uh, money. They even joke, they say, oh, Kuru people, Kuru people, have, they've come. Oh, you guys are the reigning. I said, no. Even as of yesterday, I was still talking with uh, one of my roadside mechanics. Uh, and, I f and I feel um, the information should be brought down to the local level, to trans trans translated in different uh, local dialects, so that people will understand. He was telling me that, oh, oh um, sir, this um, Kuru is for the rich people. They are the ones that brought it. It's not, let them just release us. I had to sit him down and explain to him so that he could he now realize that, whoa. It's real. It's here. Yeah. And it's not going any way, uh, away anytime soon. Well, <laughs> we appreciate your time, Dr. Dewalia Gosu, public Thank health you. physician. Thank you for joining us. Thank on you the so program. much.